Hi everyone, we are given this nice equation and we want to find the values of x. So let's solve it. First of all, the left hand side of the given equation is eight, 1 over 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x and the right hand side is 32 but 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power 5 and if you don't have anything in the denominator that means the denominator is just 1 okay we want to find the value of x and it will be easy if we move these guys to the top then we can find x easily okay so in other words we have two fractions one over something equal to 2 raised to the power 5 divided by 1 so we can flip these fractions since there is equality between them so we can flip these fractions and they will still be if these two are equal then their reciprocals will also be equal in other words if you flip then the left hand side will be x raised to the power 8 plus x raised to the power 8 plus x raised to the power 8 plus x raised to the power 8 and if you flip then now 1 over 2 raised to the power 5 will be in the denominator so far so good okay let's simplify the left hand side the left hand side is x raised to the power 8 since x raised to the power 8 is in each of these terms therefore we can take out uh, we can take it common so we have 1 here plus 1 here plus 1 here plus 1 here and the right hand side is now if you have 1 over if you have 1 over a raised to the power m then that is a raised to the power minus m in other words the exponent becomes negative if you want to move the um, the exponent from denominator denominator to numerator then the exponent becomes negative okay so now we have x ra 8 raised to the power x and we have 4 times, uh, uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 4 times, so that is 4, and the right hand side is 2 raised to the power minus 5. Now, if you look at here, the right hand side has base 2, it will be easy if we convert each of these numbers in base two. Um, in terms of 2 right in terms of 2 then it will be easy for us to compute 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 and we have x on top of it and 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 okay and the right hand side is 2 raised to the power minus 5 now we have this property that says a raised to the power m raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m times n if we, have, uh, if we have a raised to the power m raised to the power n, then just multiply the exponent. So that's what we would do. 3 times x is 3x and we have 2 raised to the power 2 here. And the right hand side is 2 raised to the power minus 5. Now we have this property that says a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m plus n. So if you have same basis, then just add the exponents. So that means 2 raised to the power 3x plus 2 is equal to the right hand side is 2 raised to the power minus 5. Now finally, since we have the same basis, so we can get rid of the basis, means that 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 5. But we want to find the value of x, so subtract 2 from both sides. Therefore, 3x is equal to negative 7. And finally, we can divide by 3 on both sides. And that means x is equal to negative 7 divided by 3. Okay, let's verify it now. The given equation was 1 over 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x and the right hand side was 32 and we want to see if this x satisfies this equation or not. First of all let's see what is 8 raised to the power x and then we will plug in it here okay. 8 raised to the power x means 8 raised to the power negative 7 over 3 but 
8 is 2 raised to the power 3 and we have this exponent 7 divided by 3 negative 7 divided by 3 3 means 3 divided by 1 so we have to now multiply the exponents 2 times uh, these guys will cancel each other so we have just negative 7 okay now if you look at the left hand side the left hand side is 1 over 8 raised to the power x uh, 8 raised to the power x 1 plus 2 3 4 times so i can write it as 1 over 8 raised to the power x times 4 so this guy will then be equal to 1 over 8 raised to the power x is 2 raised to the power minus 7 and times 4 right and this can be written as 1 over 2 raised to the power minus 7. 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2. Fine. Since the bases are same, so you can just add the exponents. I have written down the properties earlier. So 1 over 2 raised to the power negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. And let's move this negative 5 from denominator to numerator. Then that will be. 2 raised to the power 5 which is equal to 32 and that's the right hand side of the equation we wanted to verify it means that this guy is the solution of the given equation